Hi everyone, welcome to Embedder 369. So in the previous tutorials, you might have seen how to make basic commands and settings in command prompt. In this video, we will see how to make those settings using Expressive ID itself. In the menu config, whatever settings we have done, the same settings we can do it using Expressive ID itself. So now let's create a new project in Expressive ID. Uh, I'm just calling it some random name, so AB. So let's build the project first. So now the project is successfully built. So when the project is successfully built, so you can see the option called SDK config. If you just open that. So, if you go to partition table and uh, serial flash uh, config, so the whatever the menu config setting you have done right, so you can do it here itself actually. So the flash size, I will change it to 4 MB. So speed, SP speed, flash SP speed, I will change it to 80 MHz. So the partition table. So these are the default. So using CSV file, I want to make the partition table. So this name you have to note down, partitions. So if you want to set the clock frequency of the SP32, SP32 specific CPU frequency. Yeah, if you want to set the CPU frequency, you can set it here. We have done it in the previous videos in the main config. So now you might be like wondering how easy it is in Expressive ID. Like we can directly do all those things. Otherwise, you have to go to that command prompt. You have to type each and every command and do you have to do it. So whatever, like uh, the in the mini config, the settings, whatever you have done it, we can just do it using in this Expressive ID itself in this SDK config. So. So I'm just saving it, just saved it. So now what you have to do, uh, like the CSV file we need it actually for that. So I have already made these things ready. So it is in this particular format. So I'll just copy this. I'll paste it here. This project I'll paste it here. So you can check it. You can check it here. So it is there. So I'll just again I'll build the project. In. So now the project is successfully built without any error. So always you keep it in mind that whenever you create a partition, so always keep it in mind that you set the flash size. So I'm using the 4 MB version. So I'm just choos choosing it to 4 MB. So it is a must actually. You must do this stuff actually. So if you are using, some people might be using the 8 MB version or whatever. So you have to keep it. This is must actually. So always keep it in the mind. So that's it. Our project is successfully built. So now what will I do? I just open the command prompt. I'll go to the folder. So AB our project is right. So you just go there. Let's copy this thing. CD plus in particular location. Then we just check the partition table whether we have so we have successfully done that yeah you can see it you can check this thing so we have successfully done the partition such thing so it is hexadecimal and here it is a in decimal actually so that's the difference so from this video you might have got some idea about how to make menu config settings in Expressive ID itself hope you like this video if you like this video please like share and subscribe see you in next video have a nice day